Okay, we're here. We're here to all get swabbed. A dad tube. Can you have the doctor? Yeah. I got us a no dad tube. Yeah. Jay tested positive Come yesterday, so. And Nada last night, I brought my nuts like this. Um, yeah, she got COVID. She got COVID. <coughs> yeah, she just had a test two weeks ago when she was at the ER. And I could pick it out. Yeah. Pick, pick it out. So, yeah. yeah. Have fun. Did you freak a pen? I'm pretty I sure Jackson's uh, yeah, surgery is canceled now. Pick a pen. It's a spike that has two sides. Oh, put your mask on. Put your mask over your And nose. it has two sides. Okay, so yesterday after Jay tested positive, my stepdad brought us some vitamin C, some vitamin D3, some zinc, and immune defense gummies for the kids. So I'm dishing them up. Um, so here's mine. I'm doing the chewable vitamin C because I'm not good with pills. The vitamin D3 and half of a zinc. Jay is in the basement <clears throat> on the futon because we don't want his mom and grandma getting sick. Uh, so he has half a zinc of regular vitamin c that you swallow yeah there's no way i could do that and a vitamin d3 i've got the kids i need to give them their gummy i keep taking my temperature because i have chills but i don't have a fever and i was going to take this but i don't see a dosage for myself <laughs> i'm not going to show you that you're in your underwear but when he comes up for anything i told him wear a mask up here because as of right now he's the only one positive but i'm pretty sure mine's going to come back positive because i like I said, this headache and the burning smell and my cough. So, yeah, I'm dishing up his meds so he can take those. And he did say, you can't taste, right, or smell? Like, did you try sniffing a candle to see if you can smell? You can't smell yeah, anything? Okay. Oh. Okay, it is Tuesday night. I'm getting ready to go to bed. The kids have been in bed for a couple hours. Um, I've just been sitting on the couch. I'm still feeling pretty crappy. I actually feel worse now than I did earlier. Now I just, I can't stop coughing up crap. And now I have a fever. I just took Motrin. I have a temperature of 100.0. So I just took a Motrin and I'm gonna go to bed and try and get some sleep and hopefully my coughing doesn't wake up Jax. And hopefully they sleep in a little bit as I just, my face is even red. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna try and get some sleep. I'll let you know how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully this is like the worst of it though. Okay guys, welcome back. It is Thursday. Yes, I look like, I look how I feel. So today is the worst I've felt <clears throat> so far. I don't know. My whole back hurts. My whole back, I mean, it was probably just because I've been sitting. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> probably just because I've been sitting around for so much. Like I get up and get them stuff a lot, but I'm like, for the most part, I'm just like sitting or laying down on the couch. And I never do that. So, like, this is not normal for me. And mommy do. Yeah. So, I think my back might hurt from that, just from not being up and moving, but I can't. <clears throat> I don't really have the cough <coughs> today. I have, like, a dry, raspy cough, but it's not very frequent. Um, I'm super congested on both sides. Now, today, I keep smelling like a funky smell. Not a burning smell, just like an, an off smell. Yep, Allie's over there. Yep, Allie's over there too. <laughs> you guys, you guys are keeping me on my toes, huh, buddy? Can you say hi? Hi. Jaxie, look. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. Allie's over there coloring. Jax is coloring on the tablet. Don't stick your tongue out. So today, today's new symptom, like every day I wake up and it's something else. Like I go to bed thinking, okay, I don't feel too bad. When I wake up, maybe I'll feel better. What? What? Hmm? I don't know. To start drawing, touch a tool on the right. Are you drawing? So anyway, today my symptom is, my new symptom is, um, I actually started two nights ago too, so now I've got like that time of the month going on. So it's like that makes everything more fabulous. But now it's like, if I look straight, I'm fine. But if I like look to either side oh my god I get like the worst pain in my head and like right through here which I'm wondering if it's just sinus pressure because I'm so congested um so it's just sinus pressure when I move my eyes it hurts I don't know so I'm trying to just like look straight <laughs> like I can look like a little bit off to the side but right, if I look <clears throat> Jackson these kids Jack Allie stop yelling please Jackson Jackson stand it up Jaxie Jax hey stand it up and make me an ice cream 
Can you put it up and make me an ice cream cone? Okay, well, find them. Stand it up and put the ice creams back in. I'm trying to not lose my patience with them, but they've just been so loud and just not getting along and fighting and screaming. And I know it's not normal for them, and they've seen me cry a couple times because I just, it's a lot. So I've definitely, what was I saying? Yeah, so I look off to the side a little bit. It's fine, but if I look like way to the side, so I'm like kind of like closing my eyes to turn my head. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> so... I've definitely felt worse than this before with like flus or colds. Like, thank God I don't have like nausea or vomiting or diarrhea. Yeah, you see, buddy. As of right now, I still have my taste and my smell. I'd rather have this than like when you have like a really, oh, dang it. I'd rather have this than like when you have a really bad cold and you're like coughing nonstop like all day, all night for days on end. I would much rather have what I have right now. To me, I think I'm just like annoyed. Like I said, it's that time of the month now. I think I'm just annoyed and exhausted because I can't rest. Like, normally, if I'm sick, and the kids are, I can get somebody to like watch them for a couple hours or something. Or even their dad for like a couple hours. But in this case, I can't really do anything. I have no help with them whatsoever because <laughs> we still haven't got our results back. I'm hoping they come back today. Like every time my phone chimes, I check and see if it's... Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, you brought me some food. Thank you, buddy. A chicken? I see chicken on, there's chicken down there. Oh, thank you. A oh, chicken and a cupcake. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, like I said, my back hurts. I'm still not having breathing problems, which is great because that's when you want to worry. So, my stepdad just texted me and told me, like, I give an update at night and I give an update to my family in the morning just so they know what's going on. My stepdad's, like, on top of all that. So, he texted me today and told me to go ahead and double, um, double the vitamin C, double the vitamin D, and double the, um, Zinc, since I have like full blown symptoms now. But he told me to go ahead and call my doctor and see what they would suggest I take. Like, if I were to be in the hospital, what would they be giving me? He's like, But don't go to the hospital. And if you do have to go to the hospital, unless you absolutely have to, he said, If you do, make sure you, like, he was telling me this. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm like, My breathing's fine. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Because I think I'm just like over it. It's just, it's a lot. And to not be able to just rest. Yeah. Like I had Jay come up yesterday. I'm like, can you please just come upstairs and watch him for an hour so I can just lay in my bed. I'm like, you don't have to do anything. Just lay on the couch and wear your mask. Just so that there's somebody in here with them so I can go in. And that was a disaster. And then the kids went outside and then the little ones were picking the mushrooms from the yard and smashing them all over the place and throwing them at Adrian, getting it all over their hands. I was like, yep, there's cake. Yep, thank you, buddy. What, honey? My <laughs> God. I got back in here because I was eating mushrooms. I used to... Yep, I told Dad to have you guys sanitize your hands because I don't know if those are poisonous mushrooms or what out there. Yummy. Yummy cookie? Let's see. Okay. Oh, is that spaghetti? That's spaghetti and meatballs, I think. Can you show them? <laughs> so, yeah. And then he was just like nonstop yelling at them. It's like, okay, just go back downstairs. I'll, I'll do it on my own. So he went back downstairs. Mm, and he hasn't been very nice. Mm, so mm, I'm not giving him his medication. Mm, he can mm, get it himself. Mm, mm, um, I'm not mm, making his food. Like mm, last mm, night, I was trying to make mm, the kids mm, food. Mm, and he's literally yelling at me from the basement. Trying to want me to get in my phone and figure out what his Netflix <laughs> password is. I'm like, I'm making dinner for the kids right now. He's like, I don't care. I need it now. Like, he's Satan right now. Like, every time he's sick, he's saying, but this is like the worst. He's just been mean. I'm like, I'm not stopping making my kids dinner to find your password because you can't remember it. Like, because we use it. So every time he changes the password, because his account gets hacked all the time. We, we, when he changes the password, I put it in um, my phone because um, Adri uses it on her phone. Adri uses it in her room. We use it here. His parents use it. Like, whenever he gets his account hacked and has to change it, I just put the new in my phone. So, I'm like, the fact that you're going to yell at me and want me to stop making my kids' dinner to get your password that you forgot. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. But he has... Thank you, Allie. I love it. You want to show him the picture you made for me? That's so pretty. I love it. Thank you. I made another picture for you. Okay. It's coming out later. Okay. <clears throat> so, I told him, I said, the fact that I... He hasn't had a fever. I've actually had a fever. I've 
taking my temperature. I've had a fever. He keeps getting sweats and chills, but we both had that days ago and took our temperatures and neither of us had a fever. So it's just like sweats and chills. It doesn't mean you're actually having a fever. He's down in the basement where it's super cold. I've actually had a fever. I've actually been coughing up my lungs. He, like when he comes up here, this mess, he sounds a little bit congested, but that's all. Like, you know, man, when they have a, the slightest cold, they're just hypochondriac. Yeah. And like I said, he went to the doctor because he was having like tingling in his arm. He wasn't having like COVID type symptoms. He was just having what he thought he was having heart issues. I've got full blown. I keep losing my voice. Like, so it's all messy. The fact that I feel as bad as you, if not worse. Like, my oxygen level is lower than his. His keeps staying at 100. Mine's been down to like 94 because I keep checking that too. I, I'm. Pushing through it on my own while taking care of three little kids, ages two, four, and nine. <laughs> Which the nine-year-old, she's okay, but um, the two-year-old and four, they can't make their own meals. They can't get their own juice. Like, they can't, like, Allie, she goes potty or anything, but at nine, I need to put her in a diaper before she goes to bed, so, because she still goes during her sleep. Jackson can't change his own diapers, so I'm still having to do all the mom duties. My living room, <laughs> I thought I was going to pick it up yesterday. He does know how to put his clothes on. Yep. They've been the same clothes for a couple days, but so have I. And that's the least of my worries right now. Because, Epic. Epic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm making you pick um, So my living room, I thought I was going to pick up a little yeah, bit yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But no. Because then when I was carrying Jackson to his bed to put him down yeah. for a nap, I stepped on one of their little play rings and about put a yeah. hole in my foot. And I about fell because it hurt so bad. And then I was just over it. So then when they took a nap, she's just... Oh my gosh, you just came down here. She's just writing in a notebook with your pen that you left down here, okay? Adri, please don't start. This is the worst I've felt. It just ignore her, Allie, okay? You just go back to what you were doing and writing in your notebook. You've been perfect all morning. You got up a little bit early, but you've been perfect all morning. Jax has been fine. <clears throat> He's had a couple little spells where he acts up, but I told him, I said, you want to go back and time out in your room? In your bed in the dark by yourself? Like, I, did, I had to yesterday. I'm like, there was nothing else. He wouldn't stop throwing toys. So I turn off all the lights in there, no sound machine, no nightlight, and I put him in his bed in the pitch black because I have blackout curtains. He did not like that. I said, if you throw toys some more, I'm going to have to do that again. So now he knows what that means. And I've had to threaten him with that today, and he stopped throwing things instantly. So yeah, I need to go in and get their gummies. I need to go in and wash my hands, get their gummies, and then take all my medicine for the day. It's 10.38. Um, I'm still hoping to get results today. They said three to five days, but they said I could get them in two. And today is uh, day number two. So it's it's been 48 hours now. So anytime now, I should get the results. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what mine's going to be. So yeah, this is like the only spot I sit in. If I'm not in my bed or making them, so I sit right in the same spot with this blanket. I don't want to touch my blanket. So all my germs are like contained in this blanket. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they're positive though too because... But anyway, yeah, I'm just continuing with how mine's going. Mine, every day, it's something different. Literally, a new symptom every single day. Don't, no, you cannot drink out of my cup, Jax. Mommy's sick. I don't know. Ask Alexa what the date is. I have Alexa, no idea. Alexa, what's the date today? All I know is today's Thursday. Mom, it's Thursday, October 14th. That's Mommy's water, buddy. I can recommend costumes from Thursday. You have... I love you. Uh, you, have water, you. Water, you have water over there in your water bottle. You can't drink out of mommy's super sick, Jax. You can't drink out of mommy's cups, okay? Look at yourself. Crazy hair. We had to cancel your surgery, postpone it till December. Oh yeah, so the hospital called yesterday. <clears throat> no, 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 you're gonna break my computer. Okay. Oh my God. You cannot have my water. You have water. Jackson, look over here. Hey. Ouch, I can't even look to the side. You have a water bottle over there. I just filled it up for you this morning. You cannot drink out of my cup. Okay. Good boy. Mommy's super safe. If you want a drink of water, go get it out of your water bottle. <clears throat> my kids seem to like when mommy's down for the count, they seem to like take advantage of it instead of being caring and understanding. And that makes me like so sad. But I only have myself to blame for that, I guess. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I just had a chunk of paper like dangling from her hair. She says, Adrian, what is in my hair? And she made a silly little face. <clears throat> she was like, <coughs> Allie's been like the best of all three. I hate to say it, but she has been. She hasn't yelled at me. She hasn't been mean to me. 
She comes over and hugs me. Jax will come over and start rubbing me. That's my what? You, what? It says pacifier over there. No. Right there. No. He just had it over here somewhere. No. Okay. He just had it a minute ago. I don't know, but he had to look for it. Oh, so the hospital called. They said if he was just in direct contact with someone, he can reschedule. Will you get away from my water cup? You could not have mommy's water. Yes, that's water in my cup. Yes, but you cannot have it. So I'm trying to keep my patience. Anyway, if he was just in contact with it, he can reschedule his surgery for um, 24 days out. If he actually tests positive, he can reschedule his surgery for 15 days out. Because if he already has symptoms and is testing positive, then he's already had it for like so many days. But since we don't have his results back, we don't really know. And the soonest appointment they have available for him to have surgery is December 10th. So surgery is postponed until December 10th. And I asked her, I said, now will he have to have a COVID test the day before again? Like it was supposed to be this time. Like he was supposed to be in Columbus today, like in two hours to get a COVID test. And then if it was negative, he would have surgery tomorrow. <clears throat> Jackson, if you tip it up, buddy, you don't get any because then there's nothing in the straw. <coughs> you don't have to tip cups with straws. There you go. Jackson, you got and she to said, tip. if he tests positive, which I'm thinking they all are going to. I mean, if they're not, I'll be so shocked. Ali Bug, it's okay. He's got it. Um, if he does test positive, he doesn't have to be tested again for a surgery unless the surgery is 90 days out because they don't test again for 90 days. My shirt looks weird. I have a tank top on. You're not seeing my boob. That's just like my chest and my arm. Um... Yeah, so at least he doesn't have to get swabbed again if he's positive. Like I said, I'm waiting for the results. Um, I need to go take my medicine. Maybe the... Allie Bug, don't, honey. Don't stick that... Don't put that in your mouth. It's his pacifier. No, I just said how you've been being so good. Okay, Keep being my good girl, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. My mom just texted me. Um, I don't even know what I was say. So, yeah. I'll just keep updating. I don't know if this is going to be one video because it's going to be super long. So, I might break it up. And I don't even know what day this is because I've been having symptoms since last week with the headaches. If I'm positive, then that was my first symptom. If I'm negative, then I have something else going on, which I don't know what else it would be. You did today? So, yeah. <clears throat> A lot of us that get it mild, though, have little tiny symptoms that we don't even think are symptoms because we think it's just allergies. It's allergy season. It's Ohio. And that's what they said Adri's was last week when I had her at the doctor. So that's what I've been Jackie, thinking mine and hers is. Jackie, so <clears throat> I don't even know. I don't even know what I was saying. I can't keep a thought. But yeah. I'll keep you posted. Oh, so I was saying I don't even know what day to mark this. Up. Hey, Jackson. Jackson, we're not going to scream. You guys can share that right there. What is, what's he crying about? Jackson, go get the blue basket. Jaxie. Hey, hey, don't throw your water bottle. Do you want to go in your bed and time out in the dark? Jax, look, I see a red basket and a blue basket. Over there by the ice cream cart. Look, there's a red one and a blue one. Go get one of those baskets. <clears throat> the blue one's a big one. <coughs> see, it's like a... I think I wish I could so like I was saying for like five times out, I don't even know what day this but would be I, because... I, I don't know. Basket. If we go by our first day of symptoms and Thursday was our first day and now it's Thursday. So this is what, day seven? I don't know. <laughs> But I still have my taste and smell. I'm just not hungry. Jay doesn't have taste or smell, but he's like down there eating everything in sight. So it's like different for everyone. My brother, he didn't lose his taste or smell, I don't think. I think he just had the bad headaches and like was super tired. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this update because I need to go take meds. Hi, Grandpa Randy. Hello. Uh, Adri just knocked something. Oh, I think her macaroni and cheese cup just went flying off. So, Grandpa, look what these kids have been doing while Mommy's been sick on the couch. Wait, he's not on there. I was taking a video of you. Yeah, look at my... Yep, this is my living room. They dug out sand, dumped it everywhere. Yep. That's what happens when Mommy's down for the couch. Yep, they're fine. They seem fine. Yep, trade is coming. That's right. Trade is... Jackson, tell me, trade is coming. Jackson, what's coming? Train coming. Train coming. Okay, it's Thursday afternoon. <clears throat> the little ones are sleeping. Adri's in her room. Just, I told her she just go rest. Oh, I don't even know what my last update was, but I got our results back. 
um, just a couple hours ago. Mine is positive, which I thought was going to be. Adri is positive for COVID. Jackson is positive for COVID. Allie somehow was negative. It's like, how the heck would she be negative? I um, called the doctor's office and, you know, asked, is there, you know, anything I can do? Like, I called and talked to one of my doctor's nurses. My doctor is out this week. It was a doctor on call the other day that told us that we might just want to go get tested when Jay was positive. So I called and talked to one of my doctor's nurses. Or not one of his nurses, but, you know. And um, she said there's really nothing I can really do for Allie. And she said more than likely um, she already has it. And, like, that test was two days ago. So more than likely she has it because she has been here with us the whole entire time. So it's likely that, you know, she has it anyway. She said if I wanted, I could go um, have somebody pick up one of the at-home tests, like the test at home from the library or wherever they have them, and, like, test her in a day or so and see if it comes back positive or just assume that she has it because she's been having symptoms since last Thursday also. It's like, okay, I'll just assume she has it. Well, then I actually got another update in my chart and it's like what the heck is that and it's a note from the doctor and as I was pulling it up to read it the actual doctor called me and said you know you the nine-year-old the two-year-old are positive the four-year-old is negative but he assumes that Allie is actually positive he said she could have got they could have had like a bad swab um I said which is highly possible because they had to bring in an extra person to help pin Allie down she had she got swabbed three weeks ago when she was at the ER Two different times because the first one didn't come back right there wasn't enough on there to detect it for the rapid results so i had to swab her for COVID a second time when she's at the er so when we went two days ago she knew exactly what they were going to do and she freaked it was horrible she freaked out so it's highly possible they got a bad swab because she was literally free i cried it was horrible having that see two people hold her down i'm pinning her legs down i'm trying to hold her arms down with everything i have another guy's holding her head still it's like it was absolutely horrible so it's highly possible it's a bad swab because she has been right here in my face and everything this whole time. So the doctor is assuming that she actually has it. So I called the school and they go off of their symptoms and their first day of symptoms was last Thursday. So the new guidelines is you have to quarantine for 10 days from the date of the first symptoms. So as long as they are symptom free, which was last Thursday. So as long as they are symptom free on Monday they're able to go back to school on Monday because we've already been quarantined for so many days waiting for our results once Jay was positive and now it turns out there's a positive so it just goes back just 10 days from last Thursday so it's already been a week since the first of their symptoms so yeah so yeah we're all positive with COVID like I said they seem okay Adri's tired and she's a little bit congested that's pretty much it for her like I said before Allie and Jax they both had it wasn't even actually diarrhea I mean, if this is TMI, sorry, but we're, we're talking about a virus here. They had, like, number two diapers, but, like, in those diapers, it would look like somebody blew their nose in it, like a slime in there, but not, like, full-on, runny, nasty diarrhea, just, like, and I, from Allie having viruses before in the past and being in the hospital, she had, like, slimy texture when she was in the hospital with a virus a couple years ago. So, like, as soon as I saw that in her diaper, it was, or, like, in her, uh, yeah, because she wears a diaper at bedtime, and then at the pumpkin patch I had her wear a pull-up because I didn't want her trying to sit on a porta potty and not touch anything that would just be too difficult so I just had her wear a porta potty or had her wear a pull-up while we were there and when we left there I had to change it and it was just like somebody blew her nose and blew their nose in her diaper so that was and I, like I said I had started giving her um probiotics so I thought maybe it was from that but now once all this stuff came about it's like okay that's a sign for her that's a sign of a virus so that means her symptoms were Thursday also. Mine, I don't know, because my headache started Thursday, but I was having the burning funny smell a week, like days before that even started. So who knows? I still haven't lost my um, taste or smell, and some people don't. Um, I just, I'm not hungry today. I'm just not. I'm just about to just relax for a minute. Because the little ones went down for a nap, then I had to make phone calls, and then I had to message Adri's teacher because we didn't know what to do until we got results back. So I just messaged the school, or called and talked to her principal. Um, he told me to message her teacher and let her know. So I messaged her teacher. She's going to try and get some things together for somebody to pick up tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon um, for and maybe my stepdad can go pick them up from the school and then 
drop him off here so Adri can work on some homework over the weekend so she doesn't have to wait. Um, yeah, and just cross our fingers that Allie and Jackson, and Adri just stay how they are or get better and that nothing gets worse and that I don't get worse. And yeah, this is our COVID experience. Like, everyone's is different. Some people are hor like horrible, like like I've said, I've said numerous times, like mine is mild. I'm not having breathing issues. I felt worse than this before with colds and flus. So this is not the worst. Because I feel like, oh my gosh, it's the worst I've ever felt. No, for me, this is not the worst I've felt. I feel pretty crappy, but I'm not like super tired either. Like I'm still, I'm not like taking naps when my kids nap. I'm not up and moving and cleaning nonstop, but I'm not like super tired. Like when I've had to go down the basement and come back up, I'm not out of, out of breath or short of breath or anything like that. I think... I don't know. So I'm definitely, I guess I'm not extremely tired. I yawn a lot. I'm just, I'm a tired. I just don't get much sleep anyway, but I'm not like, some people like they have no energy. They're just so exhausted. I don't have energy. Like when I was standing up at the front door, talking to my stepdad through the door and he was telling me how much of which medicine to take when he dropped off new medicine today. Like I was just standing there and I had to like lean my arm up on the door frame and like block the sun because I was blinding my eyes. That, like, wore me out. My arm, like, was so heavy. <laughs> I told myself, this is the longest I've stood up, like, and just stood in one place for a while. I'm like, now I just need to go sit down. Because, like, if I stand for too long, I get kind of, like, lightheaded or slightly dizzy. But, and like I said, I feel shitty, but I don't feel, like, if COVID wasn't a thing, I would just think that I had some type of, like, typical cold thing with the congestion and cough and all that. But, like I said, my normal colds have been worse than this by far. So, like I said, the main thing for me is just taking care of the three kids, two of them being so little and needing me to pretty much do everything for them. That's like the hardest part because you can't just take a break and rest. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully they still nap for a little while. I haven't been waking up from waking them up from their naps. I haven't been waking, up, waking them up in the morning. I'm letting them wake up on their own. Because if they're super tired, they can just rest as long as they need to rest. So, yeah. That's my update for now. <laughs> what are you guys doing over there? A cuddle. Oh, you just had your feet all set up. Why? Remember you said you put your feet up there. What, were you, what are you doing, Jax? You coloring too? What one? You had your feet up on the bottom. You said I put my feet up. And then you had your notebook on your lap. Were you coloring? I, I, no, I was doing uh, okay. this. And down like I this. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> oh, and Jax has his feet up now too. Oh wow, you guys are pretty tricky. Oh, your color. He's he's coloring on Adri's Christmas list. Oh, she's gonna be mad. Oh well, she shouldn't have left it down here, I guess. I stepped outside to get just a couple minutes of fresh air. Because it is 8.20. But then I could hear him in here. I didn't want him to get in anything. Mom, it's fall. What? It's fall. Yep, it's fall. <gasps> Yay, but then it wouldn't be fall. It had to, it had to have snow. Well, no, you, you have snow in the winter. Right now it's fall. Right now it's when the leaves change colors. I, I, I don't want to. Yeah, that's in the winter. That's winter time. Okay? Like the song, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Because winter is snow. Going on the <laughs> what? Are you making up your own song? Oh, no, it's gonna be fall. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be fall for and it's gonna be snow up and it's gonna be Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I, yeah, honey. I think I can go to the Dad's Road and Santa Claus will be there. Oh, we did that last year, huh? Last year they did it outside, and then the year before that we did. We went to Dad's work, and we had to see Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Yeah, I want huh. to, I want to see <coughs> Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. I think yeah. Jack's going to be sad. 
Okay. We're hanging out. Allie, she had like a really long nap. She didn't wake up from her nap till like after five. So I'm not gonna make her go to bed um, here in the next little bit because like I said, she just woke up from a nap three hours ago. Okay. Oh my god, Adrian's gonna be so mad that he's coming on her Christmas list. Okay, Jackson, watch your pen. Don't get don't get marker on the couch, Jackson. Yep. Yeah. Put your cap back on so you don't get ink on the couch. Can you put the cap back on? Yeah, put the cap on. Good job. Uh, yay! Yay! So I want to football, but I'm about to just turn it off. I'm not in the mood for football. Sorry, guys, but. There's a couple YouTube videos I kind of want to watch anyway. <gasps> Careful, that's Adri's notebook. <coughs> it's still Thursday. It's like day number seven of my symptoms. You guys, when you guys get in between it, it, it scoots it away. Jackson, be careful so you don't knock over my drink, okay? Oh, Jackson! Jackson. Jackson. Oh my gosh! Jackson. No, no, no. You win! You your lid. Don't lose your lid. All right. Let's just see where we're at right now. It's been pretty good today. Ah! I don't squish him. You're squishing him in there, honey. Oh, sorry. I just want to wait that not? so I can put this right this. I need to focus, but it's not. Okay. If right now it says my oxygen's at 100, my blood pressure's or whatever. Beats per minute, heart rate, whatever. 65. <laughs> but it's not focusing. So, yeah. Oh, you want to show him what you have? He's just been sitting here. Not in your mouth. <coughs> He's been sitting here playing with his. Is it a tickle? For like 15 minutes, and then he just sits there and looks at it. Oh, is that tickle? He turns it off and then turns it on. <laughs> yeah, they see it, buddy. Buddy, huh? It's Saturday. I'm still super sick, huh? Is that chocolate? You got it. You got it. Okay. Yeah, you got you eating a cookie. You got an apple over there you're eating. Oh. You have chocolate Oreo and Nutella Oreo. Looking lovely, huh? Mm -hmm. I love you. Are you watching the tablet? Oh my gosh, you guys. Today's Saturday. I don't even know the last time I checked in. Um, so since... Uh, sorry, I, I'm not doing too good today. Um, since Allie tested negative, even though the doctor assumed she had it, that wasn't like good enough for like as far as going back to school, like with dates and all that. So my stepdad went and picked up one of the free testing kits from the library yesterday. So we had to do an at-home test kit, and within like it has to sit for 15 minutes, and within less than two minutes, it was showing positive. So Allie actually has a positive reading now, <clears throat> which is fine because I, know I mean that's what we dinner. yeah. So. Last, yesterday I was up, I was on the phone, I was doing all this stuff, I was up with Allie at the table doing this test, you have to do it on a computer, on a webcam, and somebody has to watch you, yeah, Mom, and that took like an hour, so I think, and then after that, like I made them dinner at like 8 o'clock last night, and then like, when I was finished up their dinner, I was, literally felt like I was going to pass out, so I went to my bed, and then at 3.30 in the morning, um, well, Jay was on the couch, so I went to bed at 8, at 9 o'clock he brought Jackson to bed, I told him to make sure he put Allie to bed, he didn't. 
I woke up. Allie slept in my room. I woke up at 3:30 in the morning to go to the bathroom, and I went in to go to the bathroom. And when I stood up to come out of the bathroom, I could feel everything like fading to black. Like I knew I was gonna drop, so I hurried up and got as close to my bed as I could. I couldn't even tell where my bed was. I just kind of collapsed into my bed. But on the way through, I saw that Allie's door was open and nothing, none of her stuff was on. So it's like I knew she wasn't in bed. So I'm like, okay, great. Did she fall asleep on Adri's room? Like she still wears a diaper or a pull-up at bedtime because yes, she pees during her sleep. I changed her into a <clears throat> diaper because Dad told me to, and I let her sleep in my bed. I put her in some nice, cozy, small pajamas that don't fit me anymore, and she slept in my bed. I know I'm so proud when Adri, Jackson, don't scream, buddy. Okay. When they got up this morning, and Adri said, "I did. I put her in a diaper and I put her in Jamie's, and she slept in my bed." I'm like I'm so proud. <laughs> and I've been helping so, Mom all day. You okay? You okay? So Where's her juice cup? Is it on the floor? Hey, where's your juice cup, Allie? Oh my god. I guess she's lost. So, then, I didn't even know what time it was. I had to like crawl myself from my bed to the bathroom, and then I had to pretty much... That's not a cracker, buddy. That's a hot... I'm gonna make your dinner. Anyway, I'm having a hard time today. I can't stand up. Like, sitting up I've been sitting up for like the last, I don't know, a couple hours. Yeah, pour it on, buddy. But when the kids nap, well, when Jackson napped, I kind of took a nap sitting up. Jackson, wait, buddy. Oh, my gosh, can we turn that down? Just a minute. What, you want this piece of chip? So I haven't eaten in three days because everything I try to eat, I gag because I can't taste anything. So everything, yeah, I can't even drink anything. I'm trying to take sips of stuff to take these pills. Which I didn't take any of my vitamins or anything yesterday because I was too busy and then I just felt so nauseous. Yeah, I just, so, I just went down. Sorry. I just went down and got mom some chips. And then I'm just trying to keep my. Th yeah. Jackson. Jackson, mom's trying so to film a video. So my mom, I told Adri, I said, Adri, I said, see if, because I couldn't even sit up. My breathing is fine. I'm not congested at all today. Shh. I'm going to make you a hot dog. Hold on a second. So I told her to message my mom and see if my mom would like bring them some lunch. So my mom brought them Arby's. Mm. Buddy, it's hot dogs. Just a second, okay? So my mom brought them Arby's for lunch. Watch your <clears throat> And Adri brought, brought it in and cut their sandwiches in half. And mom got them a milkshake to share. So Adri poured milkshake into all three of their cups. This is what's hard. Is this quarantine situation. It's not even necessarily my symptoms. Which, hold on. I've got, shh. Jackson, do you want me to make you a hot dog? No. Can you please stop jumping on me, buddy? Mommy is sick, Jax. That is a plate. Mommy. Yeah, hold on a minute. Mommy. <laughs> it's frustrating that I can't get up. All along, I've made all of their meals all day long, every day, this whole time, until today. Which Jackson, I've stop. Everything. Jackson, stop. You cannot have those. Yeah, no, yeah. get off of me. Jackson, please, Jackson. buddy. What the heck? He has not done this. You don't hit me. No. no. Why don't you watch your tablet? Do I don't know. I was just trying to give an update, and now he's... So, anyways... I just had Adri go down and get, like, I can't stand up. I'm nauseous, but I think it's because I haven't eaten in three freaking days. Because everything I try to eat or drink makes me gag. You have to find it. Please stop yelling. Look under the table. It has to go in a cup, though. I just don't, or just make sure your lid goes on. Her, her cup was over there, and then she knocked under the table. I don't know if she ever picked it up. Oh, my God, these kids. This is the hardest part, is these kids. They have no, <clears throat> they just don't, I don't know. So anyways, if I could eat something, I think I would not be so weak and dizzy and nauseous. But I keep trying and I keep almost getting sick because everything is making me gag. So I just took a Zofran and I took a Motrin. I haven't taken any of my pills until just a little bit ago. Took a Zofran, took the Motrin, took the vitamin D3. I still have the zinc pill over here because it's huge because I've been taking half of my stepdad said since I'm not doing so great, I can take double so I can take a whole zinc pill. But I'm afraid I'm going to get sick because the last two pills I tried to take, I took my vitamin C too. The last two pills I tried to take, I literally, like, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so I haven't choked down the zinc. So I just had Adri go down and get hot dogs. So I'm just going to 
She's gonna wrap them yeah, up I'm while gonna, she's sitting here, and I'll put them in the microwave. And yeah, I'm gonna make the plate up. So wrap the hot dogs and put it on the plate, so Adrian can put it in the fridge, and then I'll have her bring me in another plate, and I'll be able to cut them up just sitting here. I just can't really see. If I stand up, I feel like I'm gonna drop. But also, like I said, if you're confused. My like mom I, does not mean refrigerator. She meant to say microwave. Oh, I said refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> But yeah, I'm going to try and make their food from right here. <coughs> okay, that's my update for Saturday. Okay, what are you telling me? I have, I want hot dogs. Huh? So first they put a bun on it, a hot dog on it, and put ketchup on it, like, like you put like a one. That's all we do like this. And, and, Eat, and I eat it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay.